pretty sure these are bullets. It's now my favorite mansion ever now. I mean, I've been to a lot of mansions, but I've never seen an old mansion like this. Just left in pristine condition. step into right now. First, I forgot to do my introduction downstairs in the basement where I entered. So I'm just gonna do it right here. I just wanna say welcome to the channel. This video is gonna be insane. It's gonna be the most pristine abandoned place from like the 1800s that you'll ever see in your entire life. There's a bunch of cobwebs still that I'm gonna show you guys to prove, oh my God, this almost, almost fell. <laughs> To prove to you guys that this is legit, we are one of the very first urbexers to ever find this. No vandalism, there's no nothing. The cobwebs are everywhere and they haven't been touched at all. So that's how you kind of know. But yeah, I'm very excited. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, my name is Steve Rowan. We go on epic adventures every single week. I'm trying to put out daily content this year. So be on the lookout, subscribe, hit the notification button bell, and welcome to the Rowan family. I just found this room towards the end of the exploration, but you want to stay tuned to the very end of this video to see this entire room because this is the, probably the best abandoned room I've ever seen. It's absolutely insane. Pictures still here, family portraits. This is incredible. If you haven't been following, definitely check out the playlist right here. I've been on a road trip all across Europe with the squad, Rose of Decay, Exploring with Urbex. There's somewhere around this house too filming. So you want to check them out. The links will be down in the description. But all right, I'm done talking. I'm excited to show you guys this entire building that we're in right now. Yeah, let's rewind to when I first got here. Okay guys, so I just came from the basement. Oh my God, look at that spider. Get out of the basement though. This is weird. Are we in some kind of drug house at the moment? I don't know what's inside these. Oh wait. Really just a bunch of paper and trash. This is not what I expected, guys. It's filled with trash. We're in the first floor at the moment. And it's really, really bad. Yikes. Starting to see some pictures. Ew, banana peels. Yeah, they were definitely hoarding. I hate hoarding so much. I'm such a minimalistic person. I only use what I need. Ew. Ugh. Okay, I wanna get out of here. I feel just sick. We'll head up to the next floor. This painting is really neat. This is cool though. Okay, moving on to the second floor. We're now beginning to see a lot of pictures. This must have been them and their family. And look at the keys. These could have been used to open all the rooms or maybe some special collection he liked. He sure loved paintings though. I've been seeing them everywhere. This is the same sewing kit that we've been seeing. I think we saw this in the previous video. It's like the same design to everything. Oh, this one's moving. It's still working. Are you seeing this? This is still working.
There are some more pictures. You can see that he had a, a son and daughter. I don't know who this could have been, but he was Christian. I so, walked with my head in the spider webs. No way. <laughs> I was I was really focusing oh my on God. doing Raymond properly, and you're the, you're the first one to do it. I feel uh, no, I feel really bad, man. I need to do my hoodie now. My head was just completely covered with these spider webs. Oh my God! Do you still okay. have some on your hair? No, uh, Raymond took it out. Fortunately, so. <laughs> Dude, no. that sucks, bro. Yeah, not fun. <laughs> oh. You gotta be careful here. Yeah, you too, man. I've been dodging all of them. Okay, look at this back scratcher, though. Dude, it's kind of nasty. I don't. It's kind of weird looking. It's like a zombie back scratcher. Well, guys, look at this jacket. This wooden thing looks kind of strange. Yeah, this is my favorite hallway, though. I think it's only gonna get better and better. Let's move and go through here. Oh, I'm glad this floor has a lot of natural lighting. Whoa, look at this room. This must have been his office. Oh my god. I've never seen such an old baby carriage like this before. Wow. Look at the wheels on this. That's really neat. They should make some modern ones that look like this nowadays. Damn, that's a beautiful frame picture. We have more photos of the wife. She looks a lot older here. Seems like maybe they would work over here. It's a nice place, a lot of natural light comes through here. Just, just awesome. Old school heater. have some handwritten notes but yet again they're in French I wish they were in English one of these could be very important or give us a little bit of a hint of how his life used to be his hat There's a radio. They had a lot of beds. It's convenient that he put this in his office. Jeez. I left his wallet. Do you leave any money? No. Anyway, I just want to just show you guys are fine that's why I'm kind of digging through stuff so just to show you how unique this place is I don't steal I don't do any of that wow bullets I wonder if we can find his gun in here There's more. I never owned a gun or used a gun before, but I'm pretty sure these are bullets. If you know what type of bullets there are, leave a comment down below. In French. Yeah, his gun must be somewhere here. You know what? I bet it's under the table. There must be a gun somewhere. Get 
to the other side of that desk. Like his gun could have been on the, the little drawer over on that side. Strong, my boy is strong. With teamwork, we were able to move this desk. Check the drawers. Dude, if there was a gun, it would have to be here. I want to be so careful in this place because, yeah. I don't want to damage anything or something. Yeah, same. How about this one? You think we can open it? Both. You need a key, huh? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Well. Ah, that's it. What is this stuff? I don't know, but these things are just some screws. Yeah. Some equipment. Probably for these things. Yeah. I mean, you could have like a gun storage. <laughs> I thought the lights were on in here. Just alcohol bottles. Hmm. That floor looks really beat up. Yeah. I don't think you should walk through. No, not at all. We just found a rusty key. I, if anything, the gun could be in here. But it's locked. Oh, did it open it? Yeah. <laughs> no way, the key opened it. Okay, let's check. I don't want it to fall down because I think I will. There's only some important. Yes, yeah, paper. Here are some old files. This is light bulb. Too bad. No, nothing of a gun inside of here. But it's actually cool we have opened it with the ski we found. Yeah. yeah. It's like so mysterious. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the second time a key worked for me in that van building. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh well guys, you know, we're trying and trying. But I mean look. This is still really neat to see. Just left that room. This is another room that's being hoarded up by them. So much trash. Let's head up to the attic. There's nothing much. It's hot up here though. Here's a window. You can kind of see the view outside. So there's nothing up here. I'm gonna head down now. Let's move and go through here. What did I just step into right now? And now I'm back. Let's for this room. Thank you so much for making it this far. I always end up finding the most craziest abandoned places in the world, guys. I'm telling you right now. Ronin army goes hard in the paint. Check out this room. So this guy, we're thinking he was the owner of this building. You know why? Because we found his hat right here. And almost in every picture he's wearing it. Can you believe that? This guy's legendary hat. It's just left here. So sad to see. Over here, we can kind of see his name. I'm gonna blur any important information. Let's see, his name was Jenton. We'll call him Jenton. This was Jenton's home. I think this is a Medal of Honor certificate. So he must have been a war veteran. Right next to that is a picture 
Probably his wife. They look really young. That's a beautiful picture too. Look at the clock above it. Covered in cobwebs. Time literally stopped in this house. We have more pictures. A lot of them actually. I already showed you that one. Look at this cabinet though. Handcrafted, carved. The ornaments too. Our work of art. And if you've been following the road trip, a lot of French people back in the day were Christian, so I've been finding a lot of those crosses. This is an album. Oh. What is this as well? I'm not sure what this could have been either. This looks like an album. I'm sure there are pictures in here. Oh, it looks like I got ripped off. But yeah. Let's see what photos they have. Hm. It's empty. Someone like ripped off and took the pictures. Oh, there's some right here. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I see that. He had kids. I wonder what happened to his family. And why they didn't take their stuff. And I'm assuming that's what happened with this guy's home. Pictures. That must be her daughter. She loves horses. Looks like some people kind of vandalize, ripping the horse's eyes out. That's pretty sad. There's another picture of her too and her horse. What else? Oh, this looks familiar. This could have been his wife's hat. Oh, that's so sad. I'm really getting like this sad vibe, guys. I'm not sure why. I mean, look at all this. Look at the cobwebs. I don't know if you can see that. But there's just so much cobwebs. See that little string? So that's how you can tell no one has really been here. We're gonna be seeing a lot of that as I keep exploring. Wow. It's beautiful. These must have been worth a lot. I mean, look at this plate too. Amazing. Oh, the fruits are still here, they haven't run away. I'm just kidding, these are fake. Literally everything is in here guys. And I know you love that stuff. So smash that thumbs up button. Share this to your friends and family. Let them know. The most amazing abandoned video ever has dropped. Let's see here. Oh, we got some candles. Some paper. I gotta wash my hands after this. I don't know. I'm so happy that this place hasn't been ransacked. The furniture too. You won't see anything like this at all. Like, look at these chairs. These are hand carved as well. I love them. They're really, really nice. But yeah, take a look at the furniture and the curtain. It's still here in like perfect condition after all these years. All wrapped in cobweb. This is the most amazing curtains I've ever seen inside a van building. This is probably hands down my favorite mansion ever now. I mean, I've been to a lot of mansions, but I've never seen an old mansion like this. 
just left in pristine condition. This piano, this is the most amazing piano, hands down, I've ever seen as well. Can it, it still works. Oh my God, this still works. That is nuts. I don't want to play too much. I don't want to make too much noise. I'm just in like some neighborhood. Wow, the painting too is just left there. Now I'm not sure what piano this is, but it must be really expensive. That's for sure. And it, it must be a rarity too. Like I've never seen pianos with these things on it. This guy had a, a lot of money. But when you die, you can't really take anything with you. I have a photo frame here too. That's probably when he was in the army or in the military. And a bigger photo of him and his wife. Well, yeah, they're, they're both beautiful people. Now the lamp here. Have you guys seen a crazier lamp than this? I bet you guys are speechless right now. Because I'm very, very shocked of finding this room in such a place. And that's it. That's everything in this room. Almost forgot this. Let's see if there's anything in here. No, nothing. I think I covered it all. We came here not knowing about the history, but further during the exploration, we kind of found hints to the past left behind. We think that the original owners passed away in the year 2000, and then other people lived in it until 2016. You might be wondering why didn't the parents inherit it to their kids? Well, they probably did, but around Europe, especially in France, inheritance tax is very expensive, and people would much rather abandon the property than to fix it all up. This is all that we know and can assume. May the family rest in peace. Alright, let's do this shit again. I loved this abandoned villa so much. It's time to go now. It's just literally the front gate. It's all overgrown. Must have been abandoned for years. Woo. Glad that that one worked out. Bro, that was insane. That was insane. Dude, that was my favorite abandoned house, villa, whatever you want to call it. You know? Everything was just so old so, and still pristine. So untouched. Cobwebs hanging there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I think Crazy. you were like the first or the second ever access that go there. Yeah, for sure. And most the first ever. Yeah. Go through a cobweb. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Did he tell you? Yeah, he told me. <laughs> okay guys, so that was a very amazing exploration. Just want to say thank you to these guys. You guys have to go check out their channels. It's Blow More Orbex, Bros of Decay. If you have not been following the journey, go follow it now. We've been hitting some of the best spots ever and we're still going. We have more days to go. If it's you want... The first day. <laughs> yeah, the first day. Yeah, the first so day crazy. in France, right? Yeah. That's crazy, but... Yeah, we're banging out a lot more. We have maybe two or three days to go. You can watch the playlist right here. I don't know, it's somewhere up here. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, thank you so much for making it this far to the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button bell. Leave those comments and thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Hope you guys live a life of freedom and wonder. Peace out.